Good afternoon YouTube viewers and subscribers. So <laughs> I know I've said it before and I'll say it yet again. Yet another very very special day here and I'm actually running an engine that is so rare that only 300 of them were made in this form. And this is the Conley 120 dual overhead cam engine. Now this is an engine that was sent to me by a fellow that I met on Facebook Messenger. His name's Mark. And I just spoke with him on the phone just before I fired it up. And yes, I have fired this up already. That's why I've already got a big smile on my face. So he sent this thing to me. And you can watch my, uh, my initial video of it to see the condition it was in. So this morning, I put it all, I cleaned it all up, put it all back together. I happened to have bearings for it. And put it all back together. And about eight minutes ago, I actually fired it up for the first time and man did I smile so I'm not even going to talk anymore about this engine right now I'm just going to fire it up and I do have the rocker covers off because I'm going to have another camera set up here so you can see the cam action of these four valves in this engine uh, so anyway hopefully I can reproduce the success I just had and uh, we'll all get a treat and watch and hear this engine run Okay, despite some technical difficulties that I was having, not necessarily with the engine, my knife starter, the clip, the camera, it just seemed like everything was just not going right all at the same time. But anyway, we did see a run. Um, it runs, it sounds pretty cool. I'm not entirely sure why. I've got a 15.610 prop on here, so equivalent to a 15.8. Um, not entirely sure why I wasn't seeing higher RPM. Maybe I just have some tuning left to do, although I don't even know what kind of fuel I've got in here, to be honest with you. I think this is some kind of nitro blend. It might have some 12%, 12.5% S&W in there. I don't know. I just grabbed whatever I could just to get it running, and then when it was running, I was all excited, and I brought the cameras out to shoot a video. So aside from that, I don't really know what my fuel is, but I do have a new OS, or not a new, but an OSF plug in there. And we saw that the thing does run. Um, now I've got it timed such that um, it's about midway between the high and low 
uh, speed modes and I think I can put a picture of this on the from the manual that kind of explains that I'll put that on this video that's about how I had it set because I didn't really want it to be running at a super high RPM but anyway Conley 120 serial number 81 it does run I can't say that it runs great because I'm not that familiar with it but it sounded cool as shit and it was fun anyway so I hope you all enjoyed watching and we'll see what the future holds for this engine if I'm going to do some more runs or if I'm just going to send it right back to Mark right now. I'm not really sure, but uh, thank you all for watching. Okay, I want to show you how I screwed up the timing of this engine. So this is how I had it set. And you'll see I put Sharpie marker on the dots on these timing gears. And this is how I had it set. So it should have been good with this dot right in between these two. However, the problem was that when I went and put this portion of the belt down here on this gear, this thing must have moved a little bit because it's supposed to be a top dead center, and it's not. Top dead center is really right about here, which translates to this. So this is the mistake I made in running or in getting this timed. So when I slid this belt on, this pulley or this last little gear down here, I must have accidentally moved it, the prop, or the drive uh, crankshaft, so it was out of position. So basically what I need to do is pull this thing, this belt off again, pull this clip out, pull this belt off, and make sure I put this back in top dead center and slide it back on so it stays like this.